be some killing happening. Killing of bacteria. If you've ever taken antibiotics, you've probably swallowed this molecule or something like it. This is penicillin G. Today in 5301, the students are going to split up into teams. Each team will react 6-APA, that's this molecule, with a different acyl chloride, making a different kind of penicillin. Tomorrow, the teams will test how good their penicillin derivatives are at killing bacteria. Phil hands out the different acyl chlorides, even though his instructions are clear. Anything that has acyl chloride on it in the hoods. Fifi soon notices something. Do you smell it? It smells so weird. It smells bad. It smells like grilled artichoke. Potatoes and death. Like a rose, rotten rose. Old cabbage into a juicer. The acid chlorides can be quite dangerous. During lecture today, he's like, yeah, if you inhale too much of this, if you breathe enough of them and get them inside of your system. And we were all like, uh. I know it's coming from my hood, that's what you want me to say. Yeah, it's coming from my hood, I'm sorry. If it's the um, acetyl um, chloride that we're working with, it smells like death. All the groups complete the reaction and are working up their finished products. We were seeing the things, you know, precipitate and change color and separate into layers. And me and my partner, Hansel, we were doing it fantastic, you know, it's going perfectly. And so we were right about to finish, and all we were doing was simply getting the crystals out of solution. And that's when we really, really messed up. Did you filter the sodium sulfate um, for 8%? No. What? In the procedure, we simply skip the line. Skip the line that says filter. The product crystallized into a goop, and the drying agent was still in there, and it was just one large, stinky, yellow goop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So how do we save this? Now they have to go back and do another workup and extraction. There's no way to get the sodium sulfate. Not out of the penicillin. They have to backtrack and redo several steps. It's going to add another half hour, hour onto their workload. And during the process of redacidification, we uh, added too much acid, and it's all hydrolyzed. And so into the NMR spectrum of it, we had absolutely no penicillin peaks. And so about four and a half hours into the lab, we ended up with, this, with you know, crystals of essentially nothing. Meanwhile, other groups are doing well. The white stuff is the crystal. That's the product. That's exactly what we want. People have really good samples. I think this stuff went really well. Phil said it's going to take two and a half hours if you're an expert chemist. And we're on our last, second to last step, and it's been two and a half hours. So, bam. He says he does all of this in two and a half hours. Bad ass. But he also said that he would run a column, too. Don't you feel like you're really learning things as you go along? From her. She's a monster. She's just like going through the thing like one, two, three. You're like the uh, first groups to get done, man. Thank you very much. No, thank you. High five. Oh, yeah. Everyone's excited to see whose brand of penicillin will be the best antibiotic. Find out next time on 5301.